Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to use Azure Cache for Redis with an ASP.NET web app. You need an Azure subscription, you need a Visual Studio to do this. If you don't have any of these, get one and then proceed further. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. For this, you have to launch Visual Studio. I have launched my Visual Studio 2019. Click on create a new project. And then you look for under this option, look for C sharp and under this Azure Web Job, Azure Web Job. Now you have to look for web app. ASP.NET Core Web App. No, ASP.NET Web Application .NET Framework. You have to install these modules before you can do this. And under this, click on Cloud. All platforms. Click on Next. Under the framework, select 4.4.5.2. Project name Contoso Team Stats. Location would be this. Solution name would be this. This location. Click on Create. Now it's in. Select MVC as the project type, a project template for creating ASP.NET MVC application. ASP.NET MVC allows you to build application using the model view controller architecture. Make sure no authentication method is checked. Click on create. It is creating this project. My project is done. Update is available. I'm going to do it later. Now we have to log on to the portal to create the cache in the Azure portal. I am logging on to the portal. Okay. Email address is this. See, it has changed. Click on create a resource. I am on to my default directory let me confirm my default directory okay click on create a resource it is coming up under databases click on azure cache for redis i will enter the dns name resource group location so let me just create a new resource group test sir redis rg after adding the name my subscription is pay as you go creating the new resource group location would be central us pricing tier would be basic i click on create it's validating it takes a while for this creation to complete i'll come back when it is done you can see the progress of the deployment by clicking on to the deployment and progress notification on the top right corner of your Azure portal, your deployment is underway. I'll have to pause the video and we'll come back when it is done. Till the deployment is underway, you can create a folder name as app secrets and create a file cache secrets.config and you can edit it in the notepad plus plus and we will replace the access key with the access key that we'll get as soon as our azure cache for ready redis is ready in the azure portal okay after 10 minutes my deployment is complete i will click on go to resource and uh, under properties you can see the host name of this redis cache under the access key this is the primary key that you will use to access this Redis cache. So you remember we created the file. So under cache name, you will have to put in your name, the name of your cache, I'm sorry, not your name. So go on to the properties. Test Azure Redis. It's the name of the cache that you have created. windows.net net 
and under the access key you will paste in the access key from the portal here it is copy paste save go back to the portal so this is the application that you created so open up your web.config file this is your web.config file and you will have to change the name of the the file that you created on your c drive you look in the web.config file you click on here and you have to look for app setting element which is this this is the app setting element under the configuration tab and uh, you'll have to add the the file attribute so before app setting click on here and click on here go for app settings space file equal to the path c colon app secrets slash cache secrets dot config and where it goes this asp.net runtime merges the contents of the external file with the markup in the upsetting element the runtime ignores the file attribute if the specified file can't be found now to configure the application to use stack exchange dot redis we have to use the stack stack exchange dot redis nuget package for the visual studio settings so you have to click on tools then you have to click on nuget package nuget package manager click on package manager console and now you have to run the command from the package manager console window which would be install package stack exchange dot redis it is running the command installing stack exchange this new git Nuget, okay, this NuGet package downloads and adds the required assembly references for the client application to access Azure Cache for Redis with the stack exchange dot Azure Cache. It's giving me the error NuGet install package exception, but the package does not contain any assembly references or content for the command with the framework. Okay, my framework doesn't look good for this you have installed 4.7.2 give me a minute to check this 4.5.2 is the right package and to update the home controller and layout in the solution explorer expand the controller section here it is go to the home controller and go to the home controllers.cs file cancel this and uh, at the for and you have to add the using statement on the top of the file if you may ask me if you reach the top of the file you see using system using system dot controller so you can also use using system dot configuration this and also using stack exchange dot redis save the file why am I getting an error? You can remove this line. Now you can add different methods in your home controller. And you can view the shared file. You can also add a Redis cache view. 
and then you can run your app locally after making a changes into your project and this is how this whole scenario will be done so i hope yeah, i was able to share some uh, information from this redis cashier to you using an asp.net application uh, please subscribe to my channel and if you have any queries please uh, mention in the comment section thank you have a great day